A major health insurer is instituting a new program called Level 2, which is a lifestyle modification program to help patients with type 2 diabetes improve their life and take control of their diabetes. Could this be a sign of a new trend? I'm Dr. Brett Scher, the medical director at dietdoctor.com, and I want to bring your attention to an article recently written by Francisca Spritzler about exactly this, about how United Healthcare has a new program called Level 2, which I think may start to impact, might, may have a greater impact than just on its own patients. Because what they did was they did a pilot study, unpublished pilot study, on 780 people um, using continuous glucose monitors and a Fitbit for uh, tracking their activities and the rest of their lifestyle. And they found significant improvements um, in the care of these patients. They also were able to connect with an app, uh, through an app with coaches. Now they're bringing this out to over a couple thousand of their, um, of their patients who have type 2 diabetes. And now this isn't specifically a low-carb program, right? This is just a lifestyle intervention program, but using a continuous glucose monitor. And that's what I think is so key about this because from my experience and experience of almost any of the low-carb physicians I've spoken to, it doesn't take long for patients wearing a continuous glucose monitor for them to realize how much better a low-carb diet is for a lot of people in terms of blood sugar control. Because if all you're doing is checking you know, hemoglobin A1C every couple months or a fasting blood sugar, what is that really showing you? But if you have a continuous glucose monitor on all day long and you see what those peaks and valleys look like when you're eating higher carb versus lower carb foods, even for some people, fruits and whole grains and, and oatmeal, you can still see these erratic swings compared to if you're eating a, a true low-carb diet where it can be just as flat as can be. That is such powerful feedback that it doesn't take long for people to realize, huh, maybe a low-carb diet is better for me. You know, not everybody reacts the same way too, and that's what's really important about having these CGMs is learn for yourself what's working. So traditionally, a CGM was only for people with type 1 diabetes, and, and insurance would only cover it for people with type 1 diabetes. But now as part of this, um, as part of this level 2 program, by United Health members, United Healthcare members, they're going to get the CGM. They're going to get a Fitbit to track their their physical activity and their other health markers, and they're going to get connected to a coach. And I think this is a wonderful sign and a changing tide that should impact everybody. So um, why doesn't everybody have asked access to these? And that's even more reason for you, if you're watching this, to maybe talk to your doctor to see if a CGM is right for you. You may have to pay out of pocket for it if you're not part of United Healthcare. Um, or maybe it's time to start looking for other health insurance that would cover it because it can be such a powerful teaching tool and psychological motivator. That's what I find so often that in the beginning, people are learning so much about the foods they eat and what, how their bodies react to it. And then later it can turn into a psychological motivator that you, don't, you know you don't want to see that spike on the graph. Uh, so when you're tempted by other foods that you know may not be as good for you, you're less likely to partake in them because you know you're going to have to see that graph and that can be a little disappointed. So they, they work in many different ways. And I think this is a wonderful trend. My hat's off to United Healthcare and their leadership for, for starting this plan. And, and I think it's also going to bring more attention to low carb and the effect on blood sugar. So what does this mean for you? The power of a CGM. Learn about it, explore it, talk to your healthcare provider about it, and learn what different, different foods um, do for you and what different motivators work for you. If you want to read more about it, check out Francisca's post at dietdoctor.com and make sure you hit subscribe and like down below. That way you'll get all our updates for our podcasts and our Diet Doctor Explorers um, and our news updates like this. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day.